Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chris, your sneaker professor, just making sure I jump in here on a Friday morning to give you guys a couple of great stories. It is Women's History Month, but I will not be sharing uh, the sneakers that are releasing for women. What I want to do is make you guys aware of really important things that are happening in the sneaker industry as it relates to women. So two different stories this early in the month. We're only three days in and already we have two fantastic announcements that are in regard to women in the sneaker industry. The first one obviously was everywhere and that's the She's Back from Puma and Fenty. So Rihanna's back and what I did was I shared some information about and I'm putting it over here to the side. You guys see the article right here. I shared information on why this is more important than you think. So on the same day that Puma announced that Rihanna is back with the company, obviously she wore the Solomons in the Super Bowl. And I'm sure Puma was like, dude, we need to get her back on board because that got ridiculous impressions for Solomon. Well, it's not just the shoes and the partnership with Rihanna. Here's the most important thing that happened that Puma did, and they announced on the same day that they said she's back. Puma distanced itself from all of its brand peers by attaining the UFPD certification for fair pay. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to go through it now in the article. So you can go down here into the description, click through and read it, or you can just listen to me now. So moments and sneakers are often sports based. We remember the highlights of our favorite athletes wearing a particular sneaker doing an amazing accomplishment. We remember where we were when something important happened in our lives and we remember what sneakers we wore. On a daily basis, the sneaker world is inundated with commentary on the process of winning raffles or getting the latest sneaker model. But when really important moments in sneakers take place, they are often overlooked. A company gains a green certification. Veja is a brand is a brand that utilizes fair trade certified cotton. That's an important moment, but no one's going to talk about it in sneaker culture. Allbirds is a B certified company because of their environmental policies, but you don't see anyone talking about that. This is the same thing. These are not cool factors in purchasing shoes. These actions are simply the right thing to do. Business doesn't often tilt towards morality, but when it does, it has to be highlighted. In 2018, I wrote this post that you see to the side for Nike, Adidas, and many brands, diversity appears to place gender before color. And I'm talking about the different problems inside of these companies that we love, right? I was having discussions on diversity in the workplace for sneaker companies. I was looking at the racial disparities but at that time, I failed to address pay inequity, and that's a big deal. Right now, there are lawsuits against Nike for gender discrimination. If you don't know anything about it, look it up. But sneaker culture doesn't even care about the problems that Nike has with gender discrimination. They're still going to be clamoring to purchase the upcoming Air Jordan 3 Reimagine. This is Women's History Month. And while there are women fighting to win the next Ama Manier Jordan, there are women fighting the same company that made those Jordans to be recognized and considered equal. Business is hardly ever about morality. It's about feeding the cool machine, except when it's not. Puma delivered the she's back, right? So they drop this campaign and it just takes off like a rocket through social media and they highlight the return of Rihanna. They delivered this news on the first day of Women's History Month, right? But what they accomplished and shared on the same day was that the company closed the adjusted pay gap between women and men among its employees in Germany. Now, this is according to an independently certified gender pay gap analysis. Fair Play Innovation Lab is the company, and they certified the results. And it made Puma the second company in Germany 
to receive the title Universal Fair Play Developer. And this is only given to companies that can show an adjusted gender pay gap of between plus one and negative one percent. Now, while Rihanna is at the heart of Puma's resurgence from a few years ago, beneath the surface, the brand is doing the real work that allows for equality and opportunity. She's back. May be resonating with fans of Fenty, but what should resonate even more is UFPD. In the words of Ernie Johnson on TNT, underdog, put that on a t-shirt. Fair pay. That's an amazing thing for Puma to realign with, with a pregnant Rihanna, highlight her return in Women's History Month with the fact that they became a certified fair pay company. Amazing for Women's History Month. Next story in this is Under Armour Women's History Month. And it's a program for women's basketball like no other. The link is in the description. You can go and read it. But I'm going to give you some information and read this article. If you don't feel like reading it, there have been like these long like classes, this long history of, of combines and programs for men entering the NBA. These things have existed forever, right? And these programs have even filtered down into colleges with pro days and with coaches like John Calipari even being bold enough to invite Instagram models to the campus to talk to athletes preparing to enter the NBA. Now, as these athletes start to garner NIL deals, there should be more programs available to prepare them to deal with people seeking to use these athletes. Now, it's really rare to hear about programs which prepare women athletes for the move from being a collegiate star to a professional athlete in the WNBA. With situations like what happened with Brittany Griner in Russia, it's more important than ever for women making the jump to have access to information about professional sports. In steps Under Armour and Kelsey Plum. Plum, dog, they're paving the way for young women and showing them what a future in sports can look like. So Under Armour and Kelsey are launching the inaugural dog class. And it's going to be at IMG Academy in April. Now, it's a mentorship program that will help women college athletes navigate the transition to the professional level. So Kelsey is going to work with the women on and off the court, nine of the top women's college basketball guards, providing all the tools and insights they need to succeed as a first step to increasing equity in sports. This does not sound like a big deal. But when Kelsey Plum signed with Under Armour, I wondered how the brand would utilize one of the highest profile WNBA athletes. And while this program, the dog class, it won't turn heads. It won't make Under Armour more prominent in sneaker culture. It probably won't even show up on the radar of sneaker culture sites. But it is easily one of the most important events in sport and has the ability to filter into more grassroots events with insight into the professional aspects of the game, especially as NIL becomes more prominent and the NCAA begins to target athletes and programs. Think about it. Last week, the Cavender twins down at the University of Miami, to you, my son goes there. Um, they actually got brought up on sanctions by the NCAA because of NIL. Navigating youth sports is now becoming more complex. The underdog, the Under Armour underdog uh, basketball dog class with Kelsey Plum is for college to the pros but I can easily see it trickling down into the high school levels because of NIL and it needs to. This stuff with Puma and the fair pay certification and Under Armour and the first class for uh, college women college athletes going to the pros, at the beginning of Women's History Month, these are major statements that are going to be overlooked and they shouldn't be. And I wanted to shine a light on those for this week. And that is it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions for me, man, leave questions in the comments. As um, I don't even say it all the time, but like and subscribe to the channel for a little bit different sneaker content. And I hope you appreciate that. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.